These demonstrators are angry they have not been included in a health authority discussion on improvements to the province's methadone treatment program. I'm sure it's a great discussion, you know, and I'm really looking forward to the result. Uh, the point is more uh, about the process, and so, um, you know, you, you you can't have you can't have drug users' voices and concerns or or methadone patients' concerns as an afterthought. It really needs to be integrated in how these solutions are developed. There were two methadone patients invited to the meeting, but the group felt there should have been more. BCA Palm has been around for 10 years um, and that we also been working with the city and the College of Pharmacists and Physicians to get um, a methadone task force as well as a patient's advisory group and we would think that if something as big as this would come to Vancouver that we would be the first people to be notified and that we would be able to have um, if not equal pretty close to equal representation. But Dr. Trevor Carneal from the Interior Health Authority felt the patient's interests were well represented. What we're hoping for in terms of outcomes are a clear delineation of what the barriers are and solutions that come from the ground up, not from the ministry down. And I think that's what makes today particularly exciting. Members of the association also showed off a new rights card. The card highlights patients' rights, including choices about services and the option to submit complaints. For now, what I think the patient's card will do is just uh, make patients feel a little bit more secure that there are peers that are going through, the, that there's a, a peer community that are going through the same things and that there, um, there is actually a complaints process that they can go through. Um, we'd really like to change it and make it more, um, we'd actually like to make it peer run. The BC Association of People on Methadone would like these rights cards to be handed out to methadone patients across BC. They outline information and choices about services. They plan to hand them out to over 10,000 methadone patients across BC. Jen Bailey in Richmond for BCIT Magazine.